speed play here, Matt. Nothing going to be given away from the CTs as they start to push in as well. Push in indeed. Tech 9 for Cajun only gets one. Enrique there to equalize that immediately. That gives them control of construction as well, which means as soon as the bomb goes down, they're going to be hot on the heels of North. But North finding kills. AZ with two. And Bolt's forced to jump inside of the site. Is going to try and sleep, sneak around behind them onto the platform. Bomb still ticking. He's got the kit picked up. He now has the smoke. Oh, he's going to smoke this off. One player still rotating. But just to get oh. to the window, but config And be ready on this boost. Gives him a bit of a different angle that no one expects. Oh! Doesn't hit it. Big miss. That had a chance to be a double as well as they were very close together, but he goes above. We usually see them on the flower pots, but that stack behind instead. Nice play, FNX on the repeak. Means he can control the angle, but FNX makes up for it, finds two on the M4, and he'll cower away inside of the site. Having the man advantage, the discipline, he can stay complacent and be ready for the next wave of attack, which does leave all AKs. They did, okay, take it back. Config has gone for it. I was gonna say, they did pick up the AWP temporarily. Config's picked it up to hold over the shoulders of his two teammates as they walk in, and he'll flash them around the corner now. It's still Henny that's gonna be immediately inside. He's found quickly, has to be traded. What a shot from a Jisk. As he keeps his teammate MSL in contention, he'll go to cut off rotations of three versus three. This is suddenly doable and no one flanking. They're all coming in through the stairwell. So even though MSL is low on HP, he's got the jump to find another. And potentially more goes for the Molotov incentive by space. Good shot in from a disco. And it's down to he and Config to handle Bolts. A great recovery from being down two men. But it's not done just yet as Bolts gets the AK. Bomb planted inside as well as the boxes. He's got the kid. He can try and tap. He's assuming that he's going to be back toward the stairs based on the plants. And Config wins it with the pistol. Looks like it's going to be the latter. So comes in, flash over as well. Oh, this is going to be fast. Already at Monster. Changing the pace entirely, trying to catch them off, and it might work because they go aggressive on A. There's no one inside of B. Bolts has passed way back toward the stair connection. Decent damage done to MSL, AZ, and Magist by Nate, but they've got the bomb down. Config needs to land the shot, gets steel low. Spots out a second player, it's Henny that he lands instead. So damage in one, but it's still a four versus four inside of the site. Cajun's the next in line with an AWP. Good catch onto Lucas. Just keeps himself alive. He controls Monster. They have to go through bags and they have to come from short instead. But FNX flanks out Cajun coming back through T stairs. It's AZ and MSL stuck inside of the site. Awkward positions inside of the pit. But AZ manages to find the first kill and MSL with smoke down gets steel. FNX all to do. Spotted by AZ as well. What a beautiful Back round. Inside of the site, trying to catch them. They're going to wrap around. They've already cleared off connector. Config's going to get steel pushing out, trying to get further information to confirm whether or not they are A or B. And Henny can be happy with his position. Good find from Bolts. Second gun picked up. Better find FNX in the corner. Third gun picked up. Now there's a real shot in the round. As MSL continues to walk out and try and find exactly where the AWP has gone, they've yet to spot it. They've yet to know where Henny exactly is. And he's inside at the truck, waiting for the long entrance. They can deny the bomb plant potentially from this angle, especially with Bolts getting the first information. Henny hits the shot, second one spotted. And an aid to go out. It's two man remaining. This is a great play, considering it's the one off. It was the information found and the early kills down below. Cajun will get Bolts, though, overzealous on his rotation. Yeah, Bolts did not have to commit to that, but the good news is from the rock, it's going to be FNX taking out Cajun. That should be the round secured at this point. AZ now up against it. 30 seconds remaining. He has got the bomb in his back, and Henny's down to one HP. So he's trying to find this frag and return. He knows this is a possibility, but this is good discipline now. Bolts maybe gave a little way a little bit too much there towards the A side, but at this point, the trifecta has been set up. This, really can do. this could still lead to a plant, though, because Lucas has gone B. FNX had the rotation covered off, but AZ's going toward the A site instead, and that's where Lucas waits. Oh, I say plant. He's got to be careful because FNX gets toward bathroom. That would have been a perfect position to deny default, but AZ goes smart and safe instead, gets the bomb down. All things considered, a, full, a force by around what... Oh. And Henny misses the shot. Now has to be considering the fact that Config still has one long, but there goes Lucas, strikes back. MSL down, good response. And fine from a JISC. Well, they try to do what they can with the AWP. Doesn't get a kill, but it is a four and four. Three players towards the beach side. Config making his way in through Monster. He's by himself. He was doing this on cash, trying to create space for his team. If he gets flashed at this point, he's done for. Bolt spots the barrel of his weapon, takes him down. It's going to be a huge advantage now for the CT side. They need this round. A lot of reset potential here, but still a risk as we hit the 40-second mile. Cajun B trying to find the next frag and return. Good find from AZ as well to shut down Steel. That means they can start to walk in for Monster. Three players there. Bolts is in line. Goes for it over top of the barrels. Finds one. Repeat potential. Need Molotov down and Cajun gets the kill. But Henny still has sight over top of the site. 
Synonyms and acronyms for you, but it's Penny that tries desperately to get the shot in toward the site and doesn't quite land. It doesn't connect. Low HP on both, though, gives FNX a massive chance on the flank. Gets in toward water faster than they can be ready for the post plant. That means Magisk has to play pit instead. Gets toward headshot potential on ramp. Smoke down. He's going to take advantage of this where he can, but can't find the peak onto FNX. There it is. It was the aggressive play we're looking for from Immortals. It's not the AWP. The edge of the wall, if, if so, but Eddie's red, ready along, and Here there's the double. Walked directly into it. We said he was impressive in this series. He shows why. Goes to the pistol as they get close. Spots Cajun's feet, I'm sure, inside of the smoke is before it bloomed, but can't land the kills. Trying to isolate it based on tracers. But a five versus two. North's great start is deteriorating. Have control of long slightly, but they're already rotating back in aim according to deal with that. And Bolts may get caught off slightly right now by Majesk, who stayed patient, heard him coming the whole time. And that's a bit of a seam to pull at, but didn't, it's still a tough task. Bolts obviously didn't have to do that at all, but at least he gets a bit of intel. There's one player towards that play on information. Bolts is trying to finish off the round as quickly as possible. He needs to be very careful here. See if the economy can run away from you. And that was... Uh, very overzealous play from him just to try and close it out. It wasn't necessary. So we could just hold towards T spawn, lock them in, make them run down the clock and potentially not get any money to the next round, but give them a kill and maybe a window of opportunity here as we hit the 35 second mark. So Cajun and Majisk together in bathrooms have three to find. Two and a half to find. And he's down below in the window. So two inside of the site directly and Cajun. Already looking at the green dumpster now has the attention of them because FNX pops up to find him. Bong gets dropped and FNX gets the double again. He's been efficient. Map at this point, they have to fully execute towards B. They have no idea what's coming in behind them. So smokes towards the site. Heaven, two on the side itself. The CT entrance, here it comes. Nothing really to work with here. Bolt opens up the bragging. And a nice play as Lucas slides back down, takes out MSL. So the fast plant potential gone. Smoke still down. AZ's trying to find himself in it, but Steel turns around. Majisk did everything possible, but AZ's lost now and Steel's behind. And he gets him with just the pistol. Instead, he'll watch the exit toward long. And FNX gets close to already confirmed that they're not near the statue. That's amazing, Lucas. Molotov over, peeks it out, catches them, and the second Molotov goes down toward the stairs, which means they can't trade it. They can't do anything to save their two teammates, and now Henny, he gets Cajun B. This is very clever from Immortals. This is what we were missing on Cash. This is what I wanted to see from them. This unrelenting aggression every single round. That's such a perfect play. Five on two now. Config and Magus looking at sixes and sevens. Not really much they can do here. The bomb's down in playground. Lucas shutting it down, and FNX finds another kill. And that breath round over, just like that. How good was that play? That's sick. That is such well-disciplined and executed control. A plan, and they stuck to it. Didn't go against doing a lot of damage. Takes some himself, though. Down to 12 HP. They'll be pushing through the smoke, but Lucas in prime position to shut them down. Good play, FNX. But just backs into the smoke. He's got 12 HP. He'll re-smoke that off. And for now, he's safe because they bypassed him. It's in the site instead that they go, but it doesn't give them much to work with in the post plant, especially for a default. So con or excuse me, Kitchen B, rather, He's going to go onto the truck as he loses MSL to work with. It's a five versus one now. Cajun's got it all to do. And Steel's going to shut it down. Nine in a row to close the half after going down toward the fountain. Sticks for a little too long. Lucas gets the headshot on the Glock. The minute and 24 on the clock. They'll start to work down toward B instead as MSL. Plays from Sandbags. Spots the door opening, but backs off immediately, considering the fact that Monster is completely open. And it's back and forth from yeah, Immortals. They've, they've shown presence there now. Amos has the full back. He doesn't have intel, so Magus, he's actually in a really difficult situation. He's got the USP. That's one thing working in its favor, but no grenades. He has to hit some crazy headshots here to stand a chance of the smoke and flashbang start to rain in. There it is. That's the point we wanted to see. He's fully blind, needs to get his vision back, stays alive. That works, dodging them out, but can't land another shot on AZ. He's the only other one to find a shot in all of the kills coming out from Immortals. Four versus the two that they found, leaving us in a three versus one. MSL working in from the rotation over on B. Again, you said it, he was pushed back by that presence they showed. He doesn't have the kit yet picked up. There's one down in the site. Good find on the headshot. Immediate 180 gets bolts as well. And it's down to steel. He knows he's running back toward the dumpster. Which stairwell has he gone toward? Oh, he's so low in HP, but he's got a reload. Does get it set in time. And MSL's got time as well for the defuse. A great clutch back as he gets three kills. Unbelievable clutch there. Immortals, that's quite sloppy from them. MSL hasn't even touched a bomb at this point. He's gifted two kills at the start. Towards the site, one in the seven as well. Config, he won't be able to hold it off. Question is, where do they like to throw? 
They might just do a full Smokes contact they, they may. They're getting closer. There's no one opposing that decision. There is one player, Config, in this site. He gets caught immediately. Forget Smokes for execution. They'll put them in for the plant instead. Down on top of the platform. Easy plant inside by Pillar. Open enough to Sandbags as well. And it's Cajun and AZ both coming in from jungle. And they're both going to get aggressive. Smoke's still down. No one's spotting them. They just walk in toward the pit position, so it gives them a bit to work with. But they've got to be careful. Cajun spotting the first one, finds it, backs off as well. 20 HP. But the flash mistimed, catches AZ. He can't go for the immediate peak. Knows he's out toward the grain pipe, though, and that works. Steal down. Double play. Great oh shot on Henny, but a lineup! They didn't know Bolts was there, and he times it perfectly. Things better over and falls back. Decent grenades coming in, and here we go. Lucas to find his first frag. It's gonna be MSL to get the first one. Does damage to the second player as well. An equal exchange, but North do slightly take the lead now. Cajun Vigo does get one back. To make sure that the lead secures it's config. That will take down FNX. Swings out, gets a second and bolts and a massive amount of data, but John to Henny, he's left with 10, and tries to get the bomb down inside of the smoke. He's Comfortable inside and alone in the B site. But this retake with three and him only on 10 HP. It's pretty much written all over it. And it's going to go the way of North and it certainly does through the smoke. I thought if Henny could get above the smoke and see them on the entry, yeah. he could get a headshot, but that doesn't even happen. So that's Immortals challenging through MSL smoke at that point. It doesn't get much better for MSL. He's oh loving smoke at the start, though. Con, or KJB rather, so he's gone back out where he was in the pistol. This time he has better success. Only for one, though, Henny's able to take him down immediately wow. after, and it's back and forth the entire way through. Full trades. As FNX gets AZ, it leaves us two versus two at a minute and 26. Yeah. And it means the defense are going to be very spread out because they have no further information and so much time for Immortals to work with. What a bloodbath that was, but it is going to be the two-on-two. -two. Problem is with the CTs now, one HG grenade remaining. Immortals, two smokes, two flashbangs, and Molotov to work with as well. This certainly favors the T's. Now they spotted Config as well. He's isolated, has to use that one flash and hope it works out for him. It's gonna have to be challenging now. Can he find a frag? He cannot. Two versus one. FNX takes him down. MSL gonna rotate the long way as well to, through T stairs. He's got all the equipment he needs the smoke, the kits, full HP, Nate and flash as well to go with the M4. And he's got very little money left on his team, but it's break point as well for Immortals. He's got to go for this. He's going to work in through Monster. FNX, meanwhile, goes to pit Bolts in the same position he clutched back from last time at the Sandbags. And MSL is getting closer and closer to walking into a crossfire because FNX, if he even moves toward the ramp, will spot MSL. He's yet to move. Bolts finds him instead. Yeah, North can win this round. It's going to be quite close. Next through Monster has the chance to try and get them off, but it's Cajun that waits. Perfect headshot. Angle finds two as well with the AK. The North need this round. Two left. That AK doing so much damage for Cajun B, but it's going to be Majisk instead that stops up. Just heading remaining. Tries to spray transfer over to the right. That brings Cajun back into the equation. One AK, two Galils, and a flashbang is good. MSL finds one, but is quickly returned by Steel. Backs off as the bomb was temporarily dropped. They recover that inside of the smoke without being spotted by AZ. Stays in the site. There was a gun back inside because he doesn't want that to be grabbed by the terrorists on the way through. Knows that they're limited. Knows that they were breakable last round and therefore limited in this and tech nines for Steel and Henny. So a small play, but it makes a difference, especially on entry. If they get that gun sooner than the retakes are available, could wreak havoc. Still a four on four. There's only a couple of flashbangs left. This contact play once again. Config has such an advance in this situation. As we watch him, he should be able to pick up two kills here. That's going to be easy. That's going to do the lion's share. The work here. He goes down. Three on two advantage for the terrorists. Steal inside of this site. Cops a nade. Takes him down to seven HP. Which is significant because he has the bomb as well, which means the other two are setting to protect him. That caused a little bit of confusion if they had to rotate that. Could work. Top could work. He's off the plant. Oh, I take it back. He just got it down. It looked like he got off it, but it just goes down. So. The two others don't have to move far and can stay into a post-plant position as Cajun sets in the window. And FNX immediately finds Majisk. Now Mortals in a great position as Cajun has to go hunting with the AWP. Instead, grabs the rifle. Up to the headshot position, but caught jumping. Bolts gets it, it's two to go. He's certainly dead. Could potentially get a fast shot to find one. Steals the equation because they want to pinch them off. Steel does get Cajun, it leaves Majisk segregated away from his team. He's yet to be found. 
He's still somehow surviving in this position. Meanwhile, though, FNX does get MSL and it opens up the A site rotation. No bolts. Furious, but bolts again gets found. Images now has long to hold off. They can't get the bomb. Definitely looked the wrong way. AZ finds two. Steel's got to get aggressive. He's got to pull it back. As he tries to spray into the smoke, he's gonna go hunting as well. He knows he's done so much damage. They're all so low, and he can hear the running player, but he can't line up Maisie, who finds the third. I mean, it's a good flash, but they want in. This could be contact. Fast play onto B Steel. What a shot. Co 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 excuse me, config gone. I can't even fathom the thought of how fast he was taken down to Steel. Smoke down in front knows that AZ's likely somewhere further in the site, but FNX finds him instead. It could happen, Henry. Jisk will start the rotations by getting down and clearing the lower tunnels, but they're still posted at short, waiting to find him. Bomb has been ticking for a while. Molotov was thrown from short, close up. MSL knows it, goes hunting, finds steel. On that note, Majisk has already found a kill on FNX as well, but Lucas gets MSL back, and Majisk, he's still locked inside of the lower position. It's all on to Cajun to force Cobblestone or to concede the round and head to overtime. Quick tap of the bomb, wants to lure them out. Lures pulls out, but not the kill, and it's overtime indeed. A mortal force forces out. FNX back, gives Majisk a last chance for a peek. 28 seconds, get ready. This goes on to A. And do they position themselves to deny the default? Lucas is already close and ready at the precipice of the site. Bomb will lag slightly behind in FNX's hand, but Lucas finds the opening shot. Down goes Majisk. He's gonna jump over top of the Optimus Prime truck, but it's MSL that lines up, gets in position instead. And Steel drops as well as Lucas. Bomb does get planted, but it's another kill for AZ. As Henny and FNX have to back away, stay patient and poised. Two of them on low HP. It's AZ and MSL, 22 and 12. The config gets Henny, and FNX has to clutch against all. Smoke dissolves, and the Iron Curtain is lifted. Config getting the kill, North finding the round. MSL stepping up time and time again. That's the full execution towards the A side of the map, and Mortals. 55 seconds, usually early commitment to sites on this map. Bit of a rotation for the T's. Bolt wants to make contact on B because Bomb's going over toward A, so he needs to get his heels pitched. Doesn't quite work, MSL gets him. But how fast do they realize? MSL's already on his heels. The fact that Config gets into more construction confirms it, so we can rotate early, but look at Majisk go two down, and he finds the shot long range onto Cage and leaves Majisk trapped inside of the corner. And FNX gets tagged oh. up on 68, but look at Henny go another shot. This series, he has been incredible, and he's gonna have to be better still. As he's gotten three kills in the round, he needs the ace. Smoke to go down, Bomb still in his possession, but found by MSL and North Bomb plant straight. that allows these Galils, keep in mind. So even that first round getting a Bomb plant, a two off by, they still get something. Better than the Tech Nines or UMPs. Good trade back and forth, Cajun. Will fall into the site once more. Smoke, or rather, excuse me, nade in the bathrooms itself and a Molotov in front of them. Steel smokes over. Careful, Steel. Ooh, Steel. It took about four ticks of damage on that. Goes out to 23. And Cajun B. Oh, let one go by. What a shot onto Henny, though. So even though they're inside the site, he does tremendous work. And they sweep the overtime. North goes up 18-15. 3-0 there for North. set up as well. The smoke starts to rain in. This might not be the initial commitment. MSL, though, leading the charge. Been fantastic so far. And it is the wall of smokes. Can the Seas hold this off? Have to win this round. Check immediately to inside of the truck at the corner. Going for a boost as well. This is creative above the smokes, but MSL is able to spot it. Man advantage in the post plant. This is map point for North, and they'll force Henny way out of position back toward the bank stairs. That's extinguished, but it's already bought so much space as they burrow into the post plants. A stack in front of the bathrooms, two at long. AZ and Cajun playing off of each other. Lucas goes aggressive, but down again by MSL, who continues yep. to wreak havoc, and this should be enough. But is it? Steel looking for another kill, goes down to Majisk, all on to Henny, he's found, and it's delivered. North will force out Cobblestone by overtime. I'm glad we get to see the third map.